Hello, this is Stefan from the Mod3D Tech team again. In today's quick tutorial, we will take a look at how to enable ISIM Surf with the Morvis VR Bridge software for viewing on an HTC Vive or Oculus Rift. Assuming you have successfully downloaded and installed the Morvis software, simply start the Morvis server control. You will notice the little Morvis icon right next to your system time. Right-click it to reveal the, the context menu. In the context menu, select Morvis Application Enabler. And in here, we click on Add Application and we want to add the path to the isomserve executable file. To identify that executable file, Simply right-click on your isomserv shortcut, select Properties and then Open Folder. Now we know about the path. Right-click the path and copy it. Now you can paste it into the Morvis Application Enabler Explorer dialog. And in here we simply look for the correct exe file which is named isomserf. Click on open. Now isomserf is added into the enabler. The last thing we need to do is to simply enable it. Now that the app is enabled we can close the enabler. Next thing we want to launch the Morbis client and then isom. And inside of ISIM, we simply load a model, which will be translated in real time into VR. Next step is to enable Central Perspective or Perspective View. Once that's been done, you are good to go for viewing your items in VR. Of course, we can set a base unit for our construction. And now we have a very beautiful view over this model. And now we can check out all the details in full VR with full body track, uh, with, with full feature tracking. We can place highlights or point of interest markers. And jump in between them. We can do a measurement. So let's see, I want to measure on here. Let's see how big the ship bridge is in this model. So like this and that'll be 26.15 centimeters on that distance. Also we have the option to clip away geometry. So we can see that the ship's interior is pretty empty in this case. Also seems the engines I have not been installed yet. I guess they come on Monday. Well, that's it so far. Of course, all changes that you make inside of ISEM are being reflected in real time. As I'm not an ISEM professional, I don't know too much about it, but I'm sure all you engineers will understand 
what's going on with this model and the different functions of ISIM. If you have any additional questions, do not hesitate to contact Moth3D at info at moth3d.com. Thank you so much for watching.